Today's episode brought to you by Mazo Media. Have you ever had a feeling that ink in your printer is the biggest scam ever and you're shelling out more and more money than you originally did for the printer? Well, today on Future Camera Guy, we're going to talk about laser printers, inkjet printers, and what they mean for your bottom dollar. Hello and welcome to another episode of Future Camera Guy where we bring together cameras, camcorders and the technology to help share your memories. I'm your host, Matthias Clement. Uh, so I have quite a few people come in looking at printers. They say, oh, well, I need to buy a new printer because the cost of my old ink is the same as what a new printer would cost. So I'll get a new printer. And uh, I like to try and whittle down the needs of a customer quite often when it comes to printing. And you really have two options when it comes to printing. And one is a big money saver, and that is laser printing. Most people have an inkjet printer, which requires a liquid ink in order to print, but laser printing has come drastically down in price and can save you tons of money when it comes to large scale printing. So as an example, my wife is a teacher and she does a lot of black printing. It requires no color, just black. Now, I did a little bit of math with a Canon 4770N and uh, it's got a rather large cartridge inside of it. It's a laser printer. But when I did the math of how many sheets it could do, 2,500 to 3,500 sheets per cartridge versus my inkjet printer and the numerous cartridges I would have to get through that, I found out that the math on the inkjet I mean, on the laser, made it so that you were paying half as much and you were getting twice as much printing. So this means like a 75% reduction in your cost of printing. Now there are some caveats of using a laser versus ink, and we'll get to those in just a moment after we get a word from our sponsors. Mazo Media is your solution to video marketing. We produce videos for small businesses, organizations, and not-for-profits. If you've ever thought about making videos for your business to have on YouTube or other social media, or even to the big screen, call Mazo Media for your video solutions today. Inkjet, laser, the showdown continues. When it comes to inkjet, you can do anything with inkjet. You can do text, you can do photos, you can do laminates, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. But when you get to laser, you do have a few limitations. Photos, as far as photo paper and glossy photos, are out of the question. Those are not possible because there's actually a thin layer of permeable plastic on glossy photo paper. And the way that laser works is by creating an electrostatic charge on top of the paper and then putting toner to that, which is dry, it never runs, uh, it never dries up. It's actually just a powder and then putting it through a heated roller. And if you were to put photo paper through a laser printer, it would wind up a goopy mess. Uh, you are still able to do photos in terms of just black and white presentations, but uh, you're not able to do glossy photos. But again, going back to the cost savings of the laser, you are printing pennies to the dollar compared to what you do in inkjet. Inkjet will give you amazing quality photos. Now, before you go, well, I print photos and so therefore I need an inkjet. Uh, the reality is that a lot of people will print their photos only a couple times a year. And with places like London Drugs and Walmart printing photos for something like 18 cents a, a piece, that makes you avoid the maintenance, the refills, the, the printer itself, and you're able to get photos in bulk all at once. So before you go and get your next inkjet or laser, you might want to think to yourself, which one suits your lifestyle better? Personally, I have both. I do print photos from time to time and my wife does need colored documents to print for work. But at the same time, when I'm printing off a quick recipe or I just need a quick uh, form filled out for the government, my laser printer is fast, it's so much sharper, and also when you get a little bit of water on it, it doesn't run like ink does. So these are a few things you want to think about when getting your printer. And if you have more questions, feel free to ask down below or come in store. And uh, just a friendly reminder that I work on commission. So if you're ever in the store buying something, just let them know that Matt helped you. And that 
chucks a few bucks my way to continue making these videos and uh, keep answering your questions about technology. So I hope to hear from you soon and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing lets you know when new videos are out about tips, tricks and the newest technology and I uh, hope to hear from you soon on the next episode of Future Camera Guy. Today's episode brought to you by Mazo Media.